I will ask God that the 147th Psalm be fulfilled in your life. At various times in our life, we have to pray and ask the Lord that Psalm 147 come true. Psalm 147 in its 13th verse says, He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. I will explain what it means. When the Bible says that God strengthened the bars of your door, is speaking spiritually, in spiritual vision. Not the physical locks, the lock. But they are the spiritual locks. The Bible is saying here that God is reinforcing the close. The openings that spiritually speaking the enemy cannot enter. That your home will be protected. The locks spiritually speaking come to be reinforced. Because you know, the Bible says our fight is not against the flesh. But our fight is against the spirit the principalities, evil beings. And you know that envy a physical door does not prevent envy from entering a house. A physical wooden door does not prevent an evil arrow. Enter a person's house. But God's protection, yeah. When God enters. When God reinforces spiritually speaking the protection of that house. It prevents the enemy from entering. In the book of Exodus God himself says that he would bless his children's house so that the destroyer would not enter, so that the enemy would not enter. While I'm talking here, I feel that the spirit world is moving. The enemy's fury is great. Because if you keep praying, you can be sure that you will win. You will have victory. You will have testimony to tell you. God makes no mistakes in his choices. When God chose you to be the spiritual pillar of this house, he knew what he was doing. You cannot give up. You can't stop. And I will pray a lot for your life. You can be sure of it. I will not abandon you. I won't leave you halfway. I am here with you and I will pray. And this battle will be won. For the glory of God. I want you to write in the comments right now. A power phrase. Write your first name and phrase. Lord deliver my house from all evils. Lord deliver my house from all evils. All the people who write power sentences are declaring to God. Then write in the comments to get registered. Your first name and phrase. Lord deliver my house from all evils. Write below please. I want you to like this video too. Because every time you leave your like. You're letting YouTube know that what you're seeing and hearing is good for you. And that he can pass on to other people. That's why it's very important that you leave your like now. This prayer today is that prayer you have to share at the end. You need to share and send to your whole family. Send to all the people you love. You who are here for the first time. God bless you. Welcome. From today I will be adopting you in prayer. You will see that God does not improve. God changes when we believe and seek Him. This is not about religion. Here is about God. In the things of God there are no coincidences. In the things of God there are purposes. And if you're here, it's because God has a purpose in your life. The direction I give you right now is that you subscribe to the channel. It is free, you pay nothing. But it's the only way for you to receive the next prayers that will help you a lot. Just below you find the word subscribe in red letters. I want you to click subscribe. Right after that, next to it you will see a symbol of a bell click on the bell. And to finish you will see the word all, you also click. So every time I send you new powerful prayers, you'll receive it for free, through YouTube. The moment I start to pray. If you feel a chill, you feel it's the presence of God. But there are also goosebumps that you know is release. As the Bible says in the book of Job, there are goosebumps you know it's release. That is God pulling some evil out of that environment, that place. And I will tell you something for you. I do not think. I claim. I'm now praying I'm coming home now. In environments that are spiritually contaminated. I will pray with all my heart's faith. I'm going to ask you to go to places in your house to pray. Will be the same places you went in yesterday's prayer. On the front door of the living room, in the kitchen and in the bedroom you sleep. But we will make stronger prayers. And when you get to your room. I'll pray the 91 Psalm. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. You who are married you normally have your sleeping place. You will sit on the bed on the side that your husband or wife sleeps on. 
Will you intercede for him or her? You will arrive in the room. You will sit on the side where he or she lies to sleep. And you will put your hand. Will put his or her hand where he or she lies. You will sit down and you will put your hand on the bed. Watch what you will feel. The moment you pray the 91 Psalm. Listen to what I'm telling you. Watch. There will be places in your house that you will pass. And will feel some things because our body reacts. When God is at work. When God is working. I'm going to pray. I want to bless all donors who support our mission. Psalm 20 says so. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your offers. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. We will shout for joy when you are victorious and will lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. When you make your donation remember to speak and prophesy. Lord remember my offering. Psalm 20 says. It's written here. Remember all your sacrifices and accept your offers. Give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. I teach that the offer is not the value, but rather a prophetic act. And the offer that I teach, it is the number that represents the number of God. The number seven. If during your life you learn that, the higher the offer, the bigger the win. You are mistaken. It's not like this. It is the prophetic act. The act of offering. That will give you victory. The word of the Lord says that God commanded the people to circle the walls of Jericho seven times. And the walls fell. It wasn't the seven laps that made the walls fall. But it was the prophetic act. The word of the Lord says that the prophet told Naaman to take seven dips. It wasn't just the dip. But it was the prophetic act. Did you understand? Because imagine how many sick people had already entered those waters and not been healed. But Naaman performed a prosthetic act. He took seven dives. And the word of the Lord says he was healed. So today I want to say. To all donors who support our mission. God bless your life. God prosper you. Let's pray. Now I want you to put your hand on your front door of the room. And when I start praying the 23rd Psalm. Will you pray with me? Put your hand on the inside of your room entrance door. You will put your hand on the door and you will pray with me the 23rd Psalm. Moment you are praying. If you feel something different, goosebumps or anything like that. Can believe. God is breaking your life's financial ties. You can be sure. So let's start. Put your hand on the front door of your house, your living room. I want to pray with you. Pray with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Leave your hand on the door. Now I declare the blessing of the Lord is upon this house. The blessing of the Lord is upon this home. That all envy. I look big now from that moment. It is forbidden to stay and enter this house. My God now strengthens the locks of this door. My God now strengthens the spiritual bars in this house. Evil does not enter this house. Evil does not prevail in this house. This house is guarded. It's protected by the blood of Christ. Everyone who lives in this home is blessed, is protected. For the glory of the Most High, that all people who enter this house, may they receive the blessing of the Lord, and that no evil can prevail in this home. In Lord Jesus' name, say I believe. Now I want you to go to your kitchen please. 
because our kitchen is a place in our home that is also a spiritual place. It's where we put the providence, the provision, everything that will keep our family going so go to your kitchen now. The place you feel in the heart to pray. Put your hand somewhere in your kitchen. It could be exactly in the pantry where you keep the food. Or in the place that God shows you in your kitchen. Please go now. I want to pray with you. Father, I want to declare prosperity over this home, plenty. Never miss food. May providence never fail. Never lack supply. May peace never lack in this house. May your daughter and your son always have prosperity for them. For the family and for anyone who arrives at this house. I declare that the blessing of the Lord is upon this house. Prosperity will always be there and there will be nothing to tie. That locks away the blessings of this home's provision. Say I believe. Say I receive. Now I want you to go to your room. Go to your room. You who are married. You will sit exactly where the husband or wife lays down to sleep. You're going to minister over this place. Put your hand over this place. You who are single, you will sit where you lie. And will put your hand on the bed. Holy, holy is the Lord. May peace be in this house. May peace come to be upon this home. I hope everyone is already in the room seated. Put your hand and you will pray with me. Repeating these words from Psalm 91 with great faith. Moment you start prayer with me. Do not stop. Keep praying until the end. Put your hand and repeat this prayer with me. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will save the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Father under the blessing of the mighty 91 Psalm. I want to declare I feel your presence here right now. I know the Lord is releasing the grace of deliverance. Under the blessing of the 91 Psalm. I want to declare that. All lift from the enemy. Every arrow that hit this spot, this room. Every spirit of cooling, of strife, of separation. May all these evils fall to the ground. My father, may the hand of your daughter, of your son be yours. I know there are people feeling that right now in this room. The spirit world is moving. It's being a battle in the spirit world. Break arrow, undo the noose because the enemy said it wouldn't take long. For this man to get out of this bed. And leave this house, but I now rebuke every action of the enemy. 
I now rebuke every action of the adversary who beat a retreat in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, may this room be taken by your presence, for your peace, for your spirit. There are people, sons and daughters of the Lord that when they enter that room where they sleep, have terrible nightmares, spiritual attacks. But at this moment I declare that it retreats, that it does not prevail. In the name of the Lord Jesus, May the peace of the Lord be upon this room. And that from that moment on your daughter and your son. Start to see everything start to change. I declare the blessing of the Holy Spirit in your home. Say I believe. Say I take possession. I want you with great faith pray with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory. Today, tomorrow, and forever. And you say Amen and say glory to God. Take a deep breath. May the peace of the Lord be upon you and your family. Yesterday some people when they were in the room praying, felt retching and even vomited. God is breaking curses. You can be sure of it. Make sure God is in control. He will give you victory. Be alright. Be at peace too. Before you leave. Don't break it. I want you to click on the word share. Copy this prayer link. Click share then copy the link. And send in the contact of 33 people. 33 represents the number of the God of Providence. When you share this light to these people's lives. May this light come back much stronger to you. God is with you. So, we meet here in the next prayer for you. Stay with God and he bless you. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Watch this important message right now.